So in today's Power World video, I will showcase to you guys the very best way to level up and earn XP as a new or early player, actually mid game player as well, in this game. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, come over and join my Discord community if you want to interact with other players within this game. You'll really enjoy your time there. Okay, so now what I will say is, what I'll show you is for players obviously playing on default settings. Yes, you can increase those XP gains if you have created your own world and own custom settings. I mean, this guide, it will still help you earn increased amounts of XP no matter what your XP gains are. But I really made this video for players like myself who haven't changed anything in regards to making the game much easier uh, in terms of leveling up. I haven't messed around with any of my settings and the footage you'll see within this video, my XP gains are standard. So I've played the game now for over a week. I've had early access since about the 10th or 11th and I've played a lot of this game. Probably right now across all my characters I'm pushing 50 plus hours. A lot of testing has been done. Now I won't lie, this is kind of straightforward. But I also know people are semi expecting this to be based around uh, multiple powers within your base to earn you XP while you stand there AFK or something along those lines. I can straight up say this is definitely not the case. This requires the basics. In fact, you don't really need to even have uh, a full built base yet. I mean, you just need a couple of things like a workbench so you can create spheres and any form of weapon like a bow. Nothing else is really required. I mean, you do want to have a power box, but other than that, guys, as long as you got these set up, you are good to do this. So doing this, guys, you will earn tons of XP. So if you're an early player to the game, someone looking to earn fast XP to unlock blueprints, to level up your character, to level your powers up, this really helps everyone. And all this method requires you to do, guys, is run around the starting area and just capture pals. I know, believe it or not, this is by far the fastest way to earn XP early on within this game. Now, all you have to do is simply equip yourself with uh, plenty of spheres, run around with any semi-decent weapon like a bow and arrow, a bat. I mean, these will just be used to reduce health of those powers. I mean, you could even run around punching them if you wanted to. I mean, you're not really strapped here and you can do this more or less off the bat of starting the game. So using anything to get those pals half down low, throw that sphere at them and you are good here. Now I figured this out the hard way. I was legit running around farming and killing pals as I thought this was the way forward. It really isn't. You get so much more XP for capturing pals of any kind. It's utterly crazy. I was initially on the hunt for a couple more levels to be able to craft a saddle. I was stuck on that level 13 and it just wasn't moving. I completed a couple of dungeons and the XP gains weren't even that great. Yes, I managed to capture a great dungeon boss uh, pal. In regards to the XP gains you would get doing this compared to running a dungeon, the difference is night and day. There's so much more XP to be gained in just running around capturing and taming pals. So how this works is, and the tutorial at the start of the game actually insists on you running around uh, creating spheres and capturing pals. Little did I actually realize this is the very best way in earning that XP. But what I figured out is uh, simply taming multiple of the same pal up to a 10 of each is by far the quickest way to earn that XP. Killing pals on those normal XP gains rewards you some XP as well as your party members XP. I think it's between 1 and upwards to like 20 depending on your level and the level of the pal. Also I believe how many you've tamed already. But taming the very same creature will earn you upwards of 150 XP every single time. Now, when you do this initially off the bat, when you're really low level, like a level 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, your XP gains start at around 40 to 45 per one you tame. And it just goes and increases with every single time you tame. Me, as you can see on screen now, guys, I'm getting upwards of 150 XP 
per pal item, even the most smallest, minute, easiest pals to actually uh, take down and tame. These are giving me mass amounts of XP and it doesn't stop as long as you have an infinite supply of spheres, which are quite easy to craft, which we'll get into in a second. You can just simply run around the starting area. The pals will respawn over time as well. Run around in circles and you will earn crazy amounts of XP. Now, I'm not sure what happens exactly in regards to when you catch 10 of each. I don't know if XP gains stay the same, but there's so many different individual powers in this starting area anyway, guys. You're going to be easily a high enough level to unlock that certain blueprint you want by simply doing this for no time at all. Now again, there's no real level requirement to take advantage of this method. It's just dependent on how much prepping you do and what you're capable of doing. You will need 100% at least a bow and arrow. You can do with a bat, I mean, you can use your fists, but to make this more efficient on yourselves, a bow and arrow with plenty of those arrows uh, is great. I suggest you getting yourself a decent pal companion to assist you in battle too. I'd suggest either a daydream early on. These are quite the beast and are very apparent in the first area at night time or you can get a spark kit these uh these games pikachu these are also amazing too you then just need spheres to catch powers now to craft these all you need is powdering fragments which are super easy to find you find these just lying around all over the place or you can get them from mining rocks and stones you also need stones themselves so it makes sense here and then you need that wood so basically guys, all you need to do is mine stones as well as chop down those trees and you can constantly create these spheres. Now a simple tip to make even more spheres than you'll ever need at a super fast and efficient rate is to go ahead and capture a Captiva. Now Captivas are the pink little uh, cat looking pals. These are amazing as that first time base helper pal. As they will mine stones for you, they will gather things for you, they will pick berries for you. So yes, these are absolutely made. So if you can get one of these uh, and you've got a power back struck down, you've got your base's location, make this Captiva your base pal. You will farm plenty of stone for you plenty of the fragments you need all you then need to do is chop down a few trees guys and you can go ahead and craft as many of these spheres as you want and as long as you've got spheres as long as you've got a bow and arrow, a few arrows you will need too obviously you are good to run around for as long as you want farming and capturing these smaller pals and earning mass amounts of that xp like i said now i guarantee you guys you will level up faster uh, early game doing this than any other way i have seen in fact i'm in that mid game now i have been taking my time in playing but still i've come across no faster way to earn xp than doing this it's just as simple as that and as you do level up you'll be able to unlock the better spheres you'll be able to unlock more powerful weapons you'll be able to tame bigger and better creatures and it just the, the cycle continues as you level up it really does so yes use this method while you can i'm not sure what they will think about this when they see people using this and leveling up at a crazy rate but use it while you can for sure so yes guys all it takes is you run around taming and capturing these pals and you will earn mass amounts of xp for doing this guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one